Gold Country. We're back for an amazing extreme adventure to defy the DNF that stopped us here last time. And to make sure we succeed, we brought our friends, the Land Sharks. So, pack your gear. We're going on a geocaching adventure to Burkholder and beyond. Four hours north of Vancouver, BC is the beautiful town of Lillooet, which bridges the Caribou, Chilcotin, and Gold Country. Lillooet lends its lofty likeness as the leaping off point for this extreme geocaching experience where we'll barely bypass the back roads and an adventurous hike to Burkholder Lake to try and find the Gold Country Geotour cache there and avenge our DNF. So like we said, this is going to be our second attempt at Burkholder Geotour cache for Gold Country. We came up here about a year ago, just over a year ago, DNF'd a Gold Country cache, which is unheard of. I guess we suck, but we're going to make up for it this time. Let's, uh, Let's try this again. Um, that looks like a bear. Hey guys, so that first 500 meters to kilometer of trail, fair bit of up. But once you get up that first push, um, it's a pretty easy trail, pretty moderate, well-groomed trail, well-marked. And uh, we're just going to follow this for another four kilometers and see if we can get ourselves to the lake. But let's see what else we can find along the way, like those bear tracks. Maybe, maybe we won't find a bear. That would be ideal. Good news, we didn't find any more bears. So we kept working our way upwards to the ridgeline and some more vivacious views. Well, guys, we've made it up to the ridgeline. Here we are. That was about half an hour into the hike. We're going to follow this ridge line here now. And uh, about another three, three and a half kilometers into the lake, but uh, some pretty cool views up here. Let's check them out. We enjoyed the ridge line views and then continued down the trail as the snow started to make a stronger appearance on the shady side of the mountain. All right, guys, well, we are an hour into the trail. We're about halfway to our destination. As you can see, a little bit of snow on the ground. Not too bad, we're making our way through it. Just taking a quick break while we put our gaiters on and uh, clear a little snow out of the tops of the boots. But uh, looking forward to getting to that lake um, and enjoying the trip, because really it's about the destination and the journey. And the next steps in the journey were some carefully placed ones to cross a little creek, after which we were back in the sunshine and out of the snow shadow. And with our spirits soaring, we felt we simply moosed in joy just a little skip along the trail. Yeah, me too. Look at this. Oh my goodness. So this wetlands here that we've just arrived at, we're in the last kilometer to the lake. So we're down at the right elevation. And uh, boy, are we hoping we find this cache. I don't know, keep watching. Let's see what happens. And what happened next is we found ourselves at another creek crossing. But this time, it was a much bigger creek and the bridge was not in great shape. Without hiking poles, uh, note to self, pack poles for next hike, it was a cautious crossing. But we all made it safely across for the last leg of the journey. Okay guys, last 100 meters to the lake. Then just around the side of the lake a little bit, see if we can find that geocache. Hi. Hey guys, it's a lake. It's a lake. It's a lake. It's a lake. Burkholder Lake. Now, last time I was here, 
you could not believe how many fish were rising. But we got here a little before dusk in the summer. What a beautiful place. Burkholder Lake rests in the Yalakum Valley amidst the Shulaps Range. Burkholder and nearby Lac La Mer were stocked with trout by early miners in the region and now are popular destinations for hiking, horseback, and of course, geocaching. All right, last 10 meters. Oh, for Pete's sake. It's right here. I do not know how we DNF'd this. Hasn't been found in a little while, look at all that. Yeah, that's been there a little while, eh? All right. Well, there you go. We found it. It was not that hard. How we could not find this the first time we were up, no clue. But we got it now, so we're pretty excited about that. Pretty stoked. That's another gold country find. Man, just love this geo tour. If you want to know more about the gold country geo tour, check out this link, and all the information you need will be there about the gold country geo tour. 150-ish uh, geocaches through one of the most beautiful parts of the world. All right. We'll eat some lunch. After rewarding our challenging geocache find with a celebratory sandwich, we realize that, of course, finding the cache is only half the adventure. Now we need to head back the way we came, carefully crossing creeks and rolling round about the ridge line until we found ourselves finally back to the beginning. As we say bye-bye Burke Holder and we thank you for watching this episode. Hope that you can subscribe, like this and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to see more great adventures, just follow us on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter at LandMonkeyGC. If you've enjoyed this adventure, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends because awesome adventures are always around when you follow us. And a special thanks to our patron family who make these episodes possible. If you'd like to learn more, check out landmonkey.ca. And until then, always cash safely and cash often.